G'day, g'day. My name's Jim, and today we're going to be checking out the Energizer 1500 Lumen Metal Vision HD LED torch. Holy crap, took me five goes to get that right. The Energizer 1500 was bought for me, by me, and nobody knows who the hell I am and nobody knows I'm doing a review on this. Manufacturers, wholesalers and retailers would rather punch me than pay me. And I get nothing from no one except one single solitary dollar a day from YouTube. Woohoo! I am rich. Not. So, if you'd like to help out the channel, check out the information below. The Energizer 1500 is sold at Bunnings. I swear I'll commit suicide if I have to go back there again today. Warehouse for a substantial 48 buckaroos. Oh, what? That's like 48 cheeseburgers in all money or a slab of beer or three grams of hydge. The Energizer 1500's claim to fame is its alleged 1500 loom output and aircraft grade aluminium. Wow. That certainly does sound fancy. You know what aircraft grade aluminium is, don't you? Aluminium. Same shit as in Coke can screen doors. So don't be fooled by marketing. Like, made from surgical grade stainless steel. You know what that is, right? Yep, it's your kitchen sink and your teaspoons and butter knives. And that, boys and girls, is what we call marketing wank. The Energizer 1500 takes six fucking count them, mate. Six fucking double-A batteries. Mate, that'd have to be 20 bucks at 3 a.m. at the servo on a Sunday morning. Now, just the weight of those batteries alone weighs 140 grams, and then you chuck the shell of the torch in there as well, and you're almost up to fucking half a kilo. So if you're going to lug this bitch around, then cancel your gym membership, because that'll save you some money right there. Energizer claims you'll get a whole four hours of runtime out of six alkaline batteries before they're committed to landfill where they'll sit for the next 500 years, leaching toxins into the soil and water table. Uh-huh, nice one. So let me get this straight. A mob that's famous for making batteries is selling a torch that eats shitloads of batteries, so then you have to go and buy more. Well, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. I think you'd better call me Alex Jones, spank me, put me to bed early in my Spider-Man PJs on this one, boys and girls. Energizer says you'll get 230 metres beam distance. Well, that's a little misleading as far as I'm concerned because that leaves readers thinking that you're going to get 230 metres out of this torch. Look, I have no doubt if you stood at the other end of the block in the dark and I shone the torch down there, you would see it. But no way in the world I'm going to bloody see you. So that's a very deceiving thing to say. Sort of like saying if you put these headlights in your car, you could see 500 kilometres next time you're out on the Nullarbor plane. The Energizer 1500 has an aluminium body, but unfortunately the lens is plastic and so is the reflector. She comes with a PX4 water-resistant compliance converted to Australian Dingo Lingo, mate. That means protects from splashing water no matter what direction. Wow. Ow. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty wet. Sort of reminds me of the diving watch my mum bought me for my 10th birthday that died when I accidentally dropped it in the toilet. Now, if I haven't totally sold you on this yet, just wait a second because it gets better. A direct quote, verbatim, one press digital focusing can adjust the light beam between focus and area light. Hey, don't blame me. Okay, it's time to read out the description. Oh, geez, I'm not sure how much bullshit I can digest right at this moment, but we will try and focus. The Energizer Vision HD Ultra with digital focus delivers high performance innovation with an exceptional light output brightness of hours of runtime. The Energizer patented digital focus technology allows customers to choose their optimal array between focused and area light by simply pressing the light switch. Blah, 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 something technology enables users to experience sharp, high def and performance Sorry, let's try that again. High definition performance with daylight color and wide uniform light output. This light is our brightest light with 1500 looms and it's aircraft grade aluminum. Oh God, just threw up in my mouth a bit. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> 
and perfect for indoor situations such as DIY project and power outages. It'll last for a whole fucking four hours. Woohoo! They didn't say that, I said that. As well as outdoor activities such as camping with six, six, count them, baby, six double A batteries included. I should say that deeper, shouldn't I? Let me try that again. Hang on. Six double A batteries included. <sighs> Yeah. Doesn't that just give you a warm fucking tingly feeling around the genitals? No? Just me then? Okay. Now, I tell you, that was almost the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard, except once my mum took me to an art gallery and the chick there came over to us and she started to read out the description of the painting we were looking at. And it was like, the artist speaks to the viewer, encouraging them to participate and be confronted by the turbulence and the violence of the the colors i was like fuck off and i walked away and me mum stood there for 20 minutes listening to this sheila rave on with utter shit because she's polite yeah no thank you yawn city so anyway, back to the review. The main reason I bought this was, one, for the 1500 lumen, because I like wanted to melt the paint off the walls of the house, and two, this digital focus. That sounds sick. Well, let's check this out, shall we? Okay. All right. That's it? Let's try that again. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well... I'm impressed. What about you? So, did you see it? Are you beside yourself with excitement? Are you about to jump up and race out to Bunnings and spend $50 on a flashlight? Because I'm not really impressed at all. In fact, I don't even think it's very bright. It's heavy, and it doesn't even feel very good to hold. And for fuck's sake, it looks like a dildo. It's even nine inches long. What the fuck? Seriously? He's sitting there manufacturing this thing and nobody has fucking turned around and said, you know, Frank, that looks like a fucking dildo. What? So let's sum this up, shall we? You've got a half a kilo of torch, right, that chews six non-rechargeable, non-recyclable batteries every four hours of use that goes into polluting the environment. You've got something that weighs half a kilo, but yet it's not long enough to smack somebody on the back of the head like my 6C mag light. The symbols engraved on the back of this thing are so fucking small you need a microscope to find out which way the batteries go in. And the fact you're walking around with something that looks like your missus's dildo and chuck 50 bucks on that for the pleasure. Personally, I'd actually like to take mine back and get a refund. So hey, Energizer, would you like your dildo-shaped torch back? If so, I know where you can stick it. Well, boys and girls are going to love yous and leave yous, but I'll be back again to please yous with another video. Oh my God, that was fucking awful. Can I edit that out? Please? Please? Play that music! I found my dreams for Blueberry Techno, techno. If you like my videos, here's a few more for you to watch. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss my next video which will be out in a couple of days.